My goal for this video is to have three cities in the New Worlds all along North America. Uh, I think I'll have a really good chunk of the United States discovered probably by the end of this too. So Bradford is our pretty much New England of, uh, of this world. We settled along a lot of stone and, and hopefully I can get the city up and running quick. Um, that's that's kind of the goal. We also have like a nice little trade route that's going straight through the Atlantic Ocean and back to Ireland. Maybe, I don't know, we don't have potatoes here. Why aren't potatoes in this game? We need potatoes for sure. Um, I also just purchased a builder and we're continuing to just make month, a bunch, bunch of money, but loads of money. I'm getting a ton of trade routes. I have a lot more trade routes by the end of this because I've got two more commercial hubs going with amazing adjacency bonuses. It's uh, it's becoming pretty insane and I'm only going to make it even more crazy because I'm going to build markets. Uh, I obviously am going to want to gear myself to um, be cool with the uh, the mercant or not mercantile city states, the trade city states. So isn't that kind of the same thing? I feel like I don't I don't I don't even know at this point. So industrial zones, we just got the ability to build industri industrial zones. Uh, I don't actually see all that great of stuff. This isn't really too bad at all. Hmm. Do I want, I mean, the extra production could help. I want to wait on that. I don't want to purchase that tile. Th that to me doesn't seem like it would be a good idea. I'm only really purchasing builders because I'm making 60 gold per turn. So I, I don't need to do anything else. Caravel would still take 10 turns. Don't like that. Theater District. Encampment would help for maybe some, you know what, maybe some ancient walls. Maybe I should build ancient walls. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with the market so I can continue to make more money. So, uh, in terms of things I still need to improve, I actually have not improved any of this stuff down here. And we're working these tiles. So, let's go here and do that. Pronto. Stats. I also have my Lewis and Clark swordsman. Basically, their job is to go discover the Pacific Ocean because, uh, because I, I wanna, I wanna continue to push settlers towards North America. I'm pretty much competing with Norway right now. There's a race for North America, and I don't know, maybe Japan too at some point. But it's me and Norway that got here first. So there's a race for colonization taking place right now. It's a, it's getting pretty insane, and we're also discovering, discovering now the west coast of the New World. So we found out that China has like one city, and Japan has like. Three cities? What? Four cities? Something something ridiculous? Yeah, they've got four cities. Scythia at this point in the game. She actually hasn't been expanding all that much. She might have run out of steam. Yeah, she's at seven. But she's she's winning the game. She's definitely leading this game here. With uh in terms of domination. She's got tons of Oh, whoa! Five hundred and eleven. What happened to that? That's right, I keep forgetting that that is not in order of military status. She, she does have a lot of cities, though, that she took over from Russia. She dominated Russia in the early game, and uh, and that's been a pretty big deal. Trajan's pieced out. Trajan was trying to go in after the, what, the Baltic? Baltic state? City-state? Baltic city-state? Something like that. I think that's who you're going after. And another settler. We might as well. Okay, okay. So I've been neglecting this city. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here, go ahead and build yourself a lighthouse. Maybe I'll go. What, what would this give us? An extra trade route? Grant a trade unit. Um, adjacent, what's he built? Adjacent to a harbor, three golds. It's really not that amazing, but maybe because I'm building, I, I probably will still try it. I mean, no one's built it yet, and I've been able to build that wonder consistently in previous playthroughs. For some reason, the AI doesn't build it. So I don't, I don't even know what's going on here. Okay, so the, we already know there's nothing here, and I'm very lucky that the Congo haven't settled along the Ivory Coast. Which means that they won't be a big threat in Latin America. So Latin America might still be open to us once we have North America under our control. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for here. So we're going and discovering the Japanese islands. Hello, Japan. Okay, yeah, and you've got to be you've got to be here in Florida. This is this is way too great. Hmm. I think this would probably be the best location, probably here actually. Bananas, cattle, rice. Uh, silk. We also get these two crab resources. Now what we need to look for is freaking mountains. We have no mountains and if I want to win this game, I need mountains for adjacency bonuses for at least campuses. Because this is bad. This is very, very bad. I'm not I'm not happy with uh, the way that that has played out. Spain kind of slowing down their own expansion. Trying to look for like 
nations inside of Europe that I think I can kill. Right now, I'm only really seeing Norway that seems reasonable to kill. Hey, I could settle on Brittany. That would be kind of interesting. Can you move? I was trying to go after those ruins, sir. Good sir. Oh, you declared war. I thought you guys just peaced out. I don't even know at this point. Whatever. Okay, so come come back, back towards the south. And, um, you know what? We actually can send you out auto-exploring. auto, -explore, auto -exploring. Why not? Information with another unit. Okay, then now you can auto-explore. The Admiral will head back home. So you come here. Ten turns. Okay, that's fine. You're going to do the same. We're going to start auto-exploring, and, uh, and I think I will gear up for a war. I've been gearing up for a war for a long time, and it hasn't it hasn't happened yet. But I've pretty much discovered what I needed to discover. The only thing I'm going to control is this swordsman, because that is pretty important. Okay, so you sent me a trade delegation. Thank you. I'm going to just refer to you as British Raj, because that's, that's essentially what you are to me, Gandhi. At least one day I hope that you are. I don't know. I don't know if that will ever happen. Of course, you're still over this, this dang ruin tile. What am I going to do with you? So this third city could be our Panama Canal. It's not the best of spots. We'd get cocoa eventually and then all these crab resources, but that's it. It's not a very good spot. Maybe I shouldn't. It's not a very good city. Yeah, and so you're going to auto-explore too. I mean, it's nice that, you know, as England, we get this extra unit in uh, cities settled in places other than our home continent, but... But, oh, Galapagos Islands, very nice. Very but I would have liked to scout because we'd be moving through this territory a lot faster. I shouldn't be complaining. Free unit is a free unit, but I'm just saying. I am just saying. Okay, so let's make this city great again. One last time. I don't think I'm going to need to do anything else with this city after I build the, after I improve these tiles. I mean, you're only at five population anyways, though. I got to keep that in mind. So... It's there. You're not even working all this stuff in the first place. We finally grabbed the tea. That's right. Here, let's go after create a lumber mill here. You you finished my market. I'm making 65 gold per turn. That's that is ridiculous, but I love it. Let's go with the lighthouse for extra housing, and then maybe I'll do an industrial zone, even if it's not the the best thing ever. Royal Navy Dockyard. I think so. Boom. Okay, so I'm the suzerain with Portugal. Portugal loves me. This is uh, this is good. I think I want to start investing in Zanzibar. As long as I keep control over Portugal. Uh, that'll be also nice to keep maybe Spain in check. Thank you. 60 faith. Oh my gosh. I didn't really want that, but alright. I'll take it. I will take it, I guess. And uh, you keep moving over there. So like I said, I'm hoping that Bradford will be able to start pumping me out settlers... Uh, and I don't have to build them anymore in my four core cities. I think this is where I want to go. Don't we get adjacency bonuses next to the crabs? Just to check. Yes. Okay. So we will get a pretty nice bonus there. But yeah, of course, for now, a a granary, I think, is the way to go. And uh, now we'll have even more swordsmen out discovering stuff. So, you know what? Texas isn't bad either. Silk stone. That's all I see, though, for the most part in Texas. This next city I settled doesn't have to be coastal at all. I need to keep in mind mountains, too. Oh, oh yeah, I got a Pantheon. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, God of Sea is not left. Production from mines over strategic resources. We don't have, like, any of those things. Increases healing by 30 in your holy site district or any adjacent tiles. Bonus faith equal to the strength of each enemy unit killed within eight tiles of a holy site district. Ugh. All these suck. All of these basically suck. I might just go with the incense here. I'm sorry, with the goddess of festivals. For extra food, because that's what we really... Yeah, that's... That's the only thing I really see. So, I guess so. I mean, that's what happens when it's this late in the game and you discover a pantheon. What do you expect, Drew? Mm, there's, there's rivers along the Mississippi that I could maybe settle, but I'm going to have you come towards these crabs and we'll see. We'll see what we want to do from there. There we go, Arabia. Going after Egypt. Someone needs to take out some of these sieves. Russia still wasn't taken out yet. That was disappointing. I was hoping someone would take these guys down. Okay, so actually most of this stuff, we just need to improve those lumber mills 
and Liverpool will be good to go. Um, I'm surprised. Oh, you know what? No. Yeah. It is a shame. It, it totally is a shame, dude. But... But where people do so... What? Okay, whatever. Uh, it is a shame, Norway, but we're not cool anymore. We're kind of competing here for... For the Americas. Kind of. I bet you they're going to settle here soon. Okay. So this was this was the internal trade route that I had from London, I believe. So I think I want to continue to get production back. There we go. So let's go there. I increased my trade route capacity. Perfect. Let's go with another trader then. I don't know if there's... Man, I wish there was an economic victory. <laughs> because this would be game over. This would be basically game over. Okay, so what do I not have improved? We've actually got most of this... Actually, everything in the capital is improved. You know, I know for a fact I need to go up towards this, towards Scotland. Scotland's got, like, nothing improved. I'm sorry. I've been neglecting you. Cotton, stone, horses. This isn't too bad. Yeah, that is not too bad at all. Uh, London's grown to 10 population. Did I boost something? I think I did boost something when I got to 10 population. Okay, well, thank you. So, lighthouse time. Obviously, we're going to be building all of these, uh, all of these harbor buildings. Which is going to be good. Someone needs to do the Colossus, though. If we have all these trade routes anyways, we might as well do it. I will accept the fact that you're working the culture now for the first time in this series. It's been a while, I know. But I will accept that. We'll be fine. Industrial Zone? You don't have... Oh, okay. You know what? You will do that. Because you are kind of the industrial powerhouse. Yeah, so go ahead and build that there. Um... I'm losing track of, like, all of this stuff, to be honest. I'm losing track of all of this. I've got six routes open, and I only have five cities. I, I need... We need to keep getting... There's no... This is really no good area for me to go to from this city. I guess just go to London. Just go to London. Do I have the four gold per trade route yet no that's what i need i need that four gold per trade route that will be amazing and i guess i'll continue to go production towards builders reduces yeah yeah i'm i think i'm I, my government is fine i don't really need to change that up oh someone oh, okay i thought someone was there i was gonna i was gonna lose my mind for a second there i was like wait a second mm -mm. Mm -mm. do you have a good industrial zone you kind of do so then there we go. I won't improve this tile. And then I'll just build lumber mill there instead. Okay, cool. Yes, Zanzibar. Zanzi. Zanzi, I'm glad that... Arabia and Gilgamesh are going at it, apparently. But I'm glad that we've come to terms with our friendship, I guess. I'm glad that we've moved on to this part in our relationship. I'm very happy about that. Okay. Okay, so... um. What were you doing? I don't even know. So we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to start trading. Oh, one of those were going to Lisbon. One of those routes was probably going to Lisbon. Is there something else that I can go to that would make me a lot of money? Norway would make me a lot of money. Lisbon 17. I got to keep doing that, man. That is awesome. Yeah, that is great. Holy crap. All right, North America's got a lot of space here. Obviously. <laughs> Duh, Drew. Well, what else were you thinking? Okay, so I am going to go with the trade route there too. I mean, maybe I won't be focused on internal trade routes anymore. We probably don't need to be as focused. I feel like Venice. I feel like Venice from Civ 5 with all of these trade opportunities. Norway seems to be like a good, a good point for, uh, for extra money. Okay, so there's mountains here, finally. The Colorado. The Rockies. So we might want to settle in that location. I mean, maybe not yet. I think we should have three coastal cities. Maybe we will go after the Caribbean. I've got 500 gold, Drew. you got to do something with that. Either purchase another settler. I think builder-wise... Builder-wise, I think we're fine. We're improving the tiles that we need to needed to improve. Maybe I'll hold... I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm actually going to switch this up too. 
Well, you'd still need extra food though. You could use this extra food. I'm gonna do it because this is this guy's gonna take 14 turns to grow. Now down to 10. A little bit better. Just just a tad bit better. Okay, so is that is that there we go. Let's go to Norway. 11 gold per turn. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay, so you got up your trader. You don't have a very good spot for an industrial zone. That kind of sucks. Campus, no adjacency bonus. I mean, you would think that I'd still build a campus. And I probably should, theoretically. <laughs> theoretically, if Drew was smart, maybe. But I could probably build that other places. Okay, so we need to assess the situation here. We need to reassess this situation. I am, I'm pretty, I'm starting to get up there in military strength. Greece, Arabia's up there. Frederick's at 344. So has Catherine, fa fa Catherine's fallen off again. And I've got all these units ready to go. Let's see, what, what is 700 AD? A little bit earlier than the Hundred Years War. Slightly, but not too much. So, you know what? I'm going to build a unit inside of, inside of my capital. What could we really use? Anti-cavalry, because they did have a lot of horsemen. Wish I had a pikeman, but let's go ahead and go with a spearman. And I'll start setting up troops along uh, Brittany as well. That's what I should do. Because right now we've got this river that we'd have to cross in order to attack London. This city actually has more city defense. Look at that. Maybe we should attack Paris then. Swordsman, catapults. We do. We would need another additional catapult if we want to do like any sort of like crazy damage. Let's let's do it. Let's go with a catapult instead. It's only three turns. Still not that much. Are you at war with somebody? Why are you losing troops? You're at war with Felipe. That would explain it. That would explain all of this. Okay. Yes. And let's finish Liverpool. Just build that thing there. There's not that many tiles I still need to improve. Oh, there are. This 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 city still needs a lot of stuff. And do we have a nice, rich route? I kind of don't... Lisbon? Okay, 17 gold. We'll go there again. I love that Portugal's there, man. That is that is crazy. Okay, I'll keep you safe. I don't know why I'm doing that, but uh, just, just to create... I don't know. Good habits. You gotta teach good habits. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go to the next turn. Two catapults... Maybe another battering ram? That maybe that's what I can purchase. Or can I not do battering rams yet? Oh yeah, I can. You know it's even better just a siege tower? Just to skip over it. Although we only have one melee unit. You know, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna kinda reassess the situation. I think we're gonna go to war with France. I think we're just gonna take them down. I think that's what we're gonna do. Because I've discovered North America, I've taken the time out to do that. We're we're off to the races. Oh my gosh, I'm making 137 gold. This is crazy. And I can just purchase an army. Okay, let's take over Europe. Well, there you go. I think uh, I think it's finally time. We need to we need to stop uh, stop talking in the next video. We're just gonna do it. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.